I'm Justin Stone from EliteBaseball.tv and the biggest benefit of the Swing IQ is testing the efficiency of the kinematic sequence. This is seen if we're getting maximum output in our swing. In a correct kinematic sequence, the body will filter energy from the strongest muscles, from the ground, work its way up through the core, out the shoulders and the arms, and eventually out the barrel head. This sequence is represented on the graph by the blue line or your legs, filtering energy into the green, your core, and then the wrist or your arms in the orange. And what you'll see is that each one of these segments peaks out in speed before handing the energy off to the next segment where it'll trail off in speed while the next one speeds up. And this is how the body filters energy to create a whip-like swing from the legs, through the core, out the arms, and eventually through the barrel head. But what you're going to find oftentimes is this swing sequence is going to be out of order. And most often, it's reversed. So what you're going to see is the wrist, or our orange line of the graph, that often gets ahead of the green, which is our core. So instead, our body is trying to power the swing from the upper body and swinging from the top down, which is never going to get us our best output in the swing. There are three common reasons that a swing sequence can get reversed. First is poor tempo in the load stride process. Second is incorrect timing of the upper body and lower body separation or loads. And finally, not getting into or maintaining an upper body load in which we call a scap load.